The Anxiety of Influence, written by Harold Bloom in 1973, is a seminal work of literary criticism that explores the complex relationships between poets and their predecessors. Bloom's central thesis is that poets are hindered by the creative achievements of previous generations, leading to a struggle to establish their own distinct voices. This struggle, which Bloom terms the anxiety of influence, is characterized by a deep seated fear of being overshadowed or subsumed by the greatness of earlier poets. Through this lens, Bloom reinterprets the dynamics of literary history and offers a provocative analysis of the creative process. In Bloom's view, the anxiety of influence is not merely a psychological struggle but a fundamental aspect of the poetic tradition. He argues that strong poets must wrestle with the influence of their predecessors to create original work. This wrestling takes the form of a complex interplay of imitation, misinterpretation, and transformation. Bloom outlines six revisionary ratios or techniques that poets use to confront and reinterpret the works of their predecessors. These techniques, Kleinemann, Tessera, Kenosis, Demonization, Assesis, and Apophrades, describe various ways poets can misread and creatively revise the past. Kleinemann, the first of these ratios, involves a swerve away from the precursor's work, an intentional misreading that allows the new poet to establish a distinct voice. Tessera, the second ratio, is the completion and antithesis of the precursor's work, where the new poet supplements what is perceived as incomplete in the earlier work. Kenosis, the third ratio, represents a form of self emptying. Where the poet diminishes the force of the precursor's influence to create space for their own creativity. Each of these ratios contributes to a nuanced understanding of how poets negotiate their creative inheritance. Demonization, the fourth ratio, involves the poet's engagement with a precursor perceived as having a kind of demonic power. This engagement is characterized by a struggle to transcend the influence of a powerful predecessor. A c e s u s the fifth ratio, signifies a form of self purgation, a deliberate retreat from the influence of the precursor to achieve a purified poetic voice. Finally, Apophrades, the sixth ratio, describes the eerie return of the precursor's influence, where the new poet's work is haunted by echoes of the past. Bloom's theory challenges traditional notions of literary history and originality. Rather than viewing influence as a benign transmission of ideas, he posits it as a site of conflict and creative tension. According to Bloom, the anxiety of influence is essential for the development of strong poets, who must engage in a dialectical struggle with their precursors to produce significant work. This struggle, while fraught with anxiety, is ultimately a source of creative energy and innovation. In addition to his theoretical framework, Bloom applies his concepts to specific poets and their relationships with their precursors. He examines how poets like Milton, Wordsworth, Shelley, and Stevens engage with the works of Shakespeare, Spencer, and others. Through these case studies, Bloom illustrates the practical application of his revisionary ratios and provides insight into the creative processes of individual poets. His analyses reveal the intricate ways in which poets reinterpret and transform their literary inheritance. Bloom's work has been both influential and controversial. Some critics have embraced his insights into the dynamics of poetic influence, while others have criticized his emphasis on conflict and misreading. Nevertheless, the anxiety of influence has become a foundational text in literary criticism. Shaping subsequent debates about authorship, originality, and the role of tradition in creative work. Bloom's concept of the anxiety of influence has been extended beyond poetry to other forms of literature and art, underscoring its broad applicability. The anxiety of influence also reflects Bloom's broader concerns with the Western literary canon and the nature of artistic greatness. Throughout his career, Bloom championed the importance of the canon and argued for the enduring value of classic works. In The Anxiety of Influence, 
He presents a model of literary history that emphasizes the intergenerational dialogue among great poets. This model underscores the importance of understanding the past to appreciate the present and future of literary art. Harold Bloom's The Anxiety of Influence offers a profound and challenging perspective on the nature of literary creation. By framing the relationship between poets and their precursors as a struggle for originality, Bloom provides a new lens through which to understand the evolution of poetic traditions. His work invites readers and critics to reconsider the dynamics of influence and the ways in which the past shapes and inspires the creative acts of the present.